Hello, good morning. Yeah, it's still morning. It's not 12 yet. Anyway, so I got this this today when I went to the grocery store. This is the next, uh, what season is this? It doesn't say. Oh, it says August. August's um, uh, magazine for seasons from Hy-Vee. And um, I actually was, ex I was excited about this one. There's two things in here that I actually am going to keep. For on record now if I had a laminator I'd laminate these but all right so we have here let me just fold this paper quick I don't know why I didn't do that beforehand all right I don't have a bone folder but you know what works great just my nails <laughs> all right so there's this these little they're basically like, do you remember when you were a kid and you remember Jello Jigglers being like the thing to get? I think that's what these are. They're because they look like they have the same thing. So you have your 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 flavoring. So these are juices. So you use like um, what they call this. This is pineapple and mango gummies is what they call it. This one says there, and then it says here. I'll, I'll just. Let you see it. Let's see, make sure it's in the thing. There. Um, anyway, this, I'm probably going to keep this one because I thought, well, I could make those and the kids could eat them. You know, because, uh, I don't know, I just thought it'd be kind of neat. I wonder what's making the red ones. Because, okay, so they have, uh, do 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 do, uh, do 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 do. Okay, so they have pineapple juice, mango peach juice. But on here, they have red. So I know pineapple it would be this one. And the mango peach must be this one. I wonder what this one is. Maybe this this one's like regular jello or something. It, it doesn't say. Uh, well, it probably does. Anyway, so I had this recipe, and I thought this would be kind of neat. But this is why I got, or this, this is why I was excited about this one. It's um, for cold pickling. Um, I like cold pickling, so that's what this one is, and it gives you a standard, like, pickling spices. Let's see if I can put it up on there. I uh, hope that's there. Now you're not getting behind whatever. Anyway, so, and then you have various recipes on this side. So you have basic brine here. This is probably what you're supposed to do with this one here. And then you have uh, pickled onions, the pickled red onions. Uh, quickest pickle, it says right here. <laughs> but then it says pickled cauliflower. Now that I wanted to try. I thought that'd be kind of neat. And then pickled carrots. Never had either of those, any of these things. I've had the pickled onions before. Whoops. Pickled onions because they, uh, one of the restaurants I've eaten at, they use those. And then it's got some helpful tips right here. There, so you're not getting the background. <laughs> anyway, so there was some exciting stuff. Like I said, I would laminate this if I had a laminator, but you know what? I don't have a laminator, but I do have packing tape. <laughs> anyway, so once again, that was from this magazine. Now the rest of this magazine, I will be... Um, making into beads although there are some like really good recipes in here like for pasta and they had a bunch of good pasta recipes here let me bring it up to the pasta page they had a ton of pasta things in here like hold on they had this but I can't make any of these because I got a daughter who's a whiny whiny kid about having uh, tomatoes and then these these looked really good uh, and here's another one. See, all these looked really yummy. And then one thing on the last page. Then this one. But anyway, this all looked really, really good. So, I don't know. Like, this is another one that looked good, too. Whoop! There we go. Like, this one looked really good, too. I just... Um, so many things in here I thought looked good that, you know, I can't make because, oh, I was going to, I was going to try these too, but I'm not going to keep this recipe. 
for uh what does it call them granola berry pops um i assume they're kind of like um with the yogurt and granola and then you put fruit in it what do they call that uh <sighs> parfait i assume but i don't know anyway then there was these beef empanadas they're almost almost like the stuff that I made with the pasties because the crust on here, it says it's flour, lard, and um, mm, salt and water. So basic, basic pie recipe, uh, pie dough kind of stuff. But anyway, um, yeah, so that was all from this magazine. So... I'm going to try these at some point here. I don't really have kid kids that are going to enjoy these anymore. But I figured they, you know, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I was going to share it with a friend of mine. She has young kids. Um, but this was what I was excited about. I wanted to do some cold pickling. Or what do they call it? Uh, quick pickling. Cold pickling. Whatever. Okay. All right. Bye.